understand the chemistry, brothers and sisters. Or understand the chemistry. When we strengthen ourselves spiritually, nature is strengthened. If we become spiritually weak, nature weakens. You see all the time that these Saxons had to play around, playing with the weather, doing all those things, all these other things that they were doing. And we were up here complaining. We were complaining. And then the message came, focus on yourself, focus on yourself, focus on yourself. You have to become nature. You have to become nature. You have to become more powerful. Then we started learning about all the different things that we lost. You know, we lost focus of. We started learning about these different things. Um, the sigils started learning how to go deeper into meditation. Start learning, start talking about building. Now we're building and creating and designing and making structures. And we're making ourselves more powerful. All right. Which means everything around us becomes powerful as well. We are the atoms of nature. That's how things work. We're the atoms of nature. I'm working on this next um, part of this project. And as you can see, I've got it all drawn out. I'm gonna be cutting, this is going to be like a flower. It's going to have an orgone in the middle of it. Just like the other part, the other piece. And I'm uh, working on this. So the more powerful we become in nature, the more the more powerful we become in ourselves, the more spiritually sound, increase your meditation, your building, doing your sigils. What did I do with this? Because I wrote I wrote those the sigils that I that I posted on the um, YouTube community channel. I had wrote them down. I wrote them down. All right. Increase spirituality, enhance intuition. I wrote it down. Increase vibration within. I wrote it down. Um, boost creativity. As soon as I, I wrote down boost creativity, because I was going to do another circle with this right here, and then I the idea came to me. It was like, no, make that into like a flower. Make it like a petal. You know, and we're gonna we're gonna do some other things with it. So, as soon as I drew this right here, you're drawing the energy that you desire. So you boost creativity. So you, uh, my creativity literally boosted up just now. Um, help stimulate the flow of spiritual energy. Wrote that down. All right. Um, help direct energy. All right. So when you're dealing with uh, your enemies. Or you're dealing with family, you want to direct certain energies to them, or you want to direct energy to your your enemies to in a in a method of a spiritual attack on them, then this is perfect. If you need to direct uh, energy to one of your family members to heal them, or to help bring balance to their bodies, all right, help direct uh, energy. This is a sigil for more energy, so. I wrote that down. I posted that on the YouTube community channel. Sigil for uh, spiritual energy. All right. Um, and this is personal power. Sigil for personal power. I think I said I, I posted that one as well. It's a sigil for personal power. And then the last one I did was a better spiritual connection. I wrote that down too. So write these things down on paper. All right, because when you draw them, you draw the energy. Because as soon as I did, got through drawing that about boost creativity, it was like, okay, let's not make this a the same way as that one. We're gonna make this one completely different. And then the other one, the third one that's gonna be made, is gonna be made completely different from that one. You know, they're gonna be three different shapes. So I'm like, okay, I'm excited. I'm extremely excited about this. So. It's important that we um, understand the level of spirituality that we're supposed to have. All right, it's extremely important that we understand the level of spirituality that we're supposed to have, 
And how we supposed to operate? So the more powerful we become, the more powerful nature becomes. So we're basically we are fighting in the spirit realm. We're fighting their physical components that they created in the spirit realm by raising our vibrations, by raising our energies, by raising, boosting our creativity, by um, um, creating more energy for ourselves. And therefore, you create more energy for nature because you're tied directly into nature. That's the whole part. So this is the beginning of this battle that we're having against these Saxons and, and the Orientals and their system. This is the beginning of this battle. All right. Soon thereof, they're going to realize it was us. And then that's when we're really going to have to meet them face to face and show them our real powers. So continue to practice your Tai Chi, your meditation, your building, creating, designing. All right. This is what makes you more powerful is everything that you do makes you more powerful. You know, that's why I was, you know, the one brother was like, you know, I'm ready to go to war. You have to build your power. You have to build your energy. You have to build your strength. You have to build it. You have to literally build it, which means you have to do things outside of just sitting in meditation. You want to fight because you got to understand that there's a spiritual battle before the physical battle comes. They're going to come to us physically. But we're going to be coming back to them spiritually. The spirit outweighs the physical. 20 to 1, 100 to 1. We go 100 to 1. Seriously. <laughs> the spirit outweighs physical 100 to 1. All right? Just want to share that with you all. So the more powerful you become within yourself, the more powerful nature becomes. We are the atoms of nature. We are the atoms. We are the atoms of nature. They know this. That's why they gave us religion and all this, this, this other garbage. And it's only the 1% that's going to save the entire realm. And then after the 1% saved the entire realm and, and everybody who's original, then they're going to wake up after everything is gone. But we'd expect that, though. <clears throat> all right, guys. Catch you later. <laughs>